Like some terrible unifying force, the Challenger disaster is affecting every American, each of us trying to reconcile its awful reality. Tonight, around the world, humankind is in shock and mourning over the tragic deaths earlier today of our space shuttle astronauts. A moment of silent reflection preceded tonight's pro basketball game in Seattle. Across the nation, in houses of government and in places of business, people paused for public and private prayer. On this dark day, we were a nation glued to our televisions. If you haven't been with us throughout the day, we must tell you that shortly after blasting off this morning, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded into a ball of fire. The hydraulic power units have started. T minus 21 seconds and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off confirmed. Lift off. Roger, roll, Challenger. Good roll, flight. Raj, good roll. Challenger, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. They have been reared on a fiction of spectacular space battles and stars. From the first few minutes, I really didn't realize that it really had happened. And it was such a sight that it can't happen at all. The Shilly tragedy struck a frightening chord in youngsters like these seventh graders from Craig Middle School in Lawrence Township. And for some, the events of yesterday were too real.